in this problem we have to find the work done in carrying 6 coulomb of charge from point a to point b in the given electric field along the given path so let us start with the given values so electric field is given minus 8 xy a cap x minus 4 x square a cap y plus a cap z holds per meter the charge experiencing the force is also given that is six columns the points are given and the path is given let us start with the equation for work done which is given by minus qt the test charge into e dot dl so we are moving the charge from point a to point b so point a to point b the limits go accordingly so here let us substitute the values qt is 6 coulomb point a 185 2186 electric field let us substitute for electric field minus 8xy ax cap minus 4 square ay cap plus a cap z this is the field to be dotted with dl differential length that is given by dx ax dy ay plus dz az so the dot product gives us x components to be multiplied y components to be multiplied z components to be multiplied together so we shall go with when x components are multiplied we get minus 8 xy into dx minus 4 x square into dy plus z component is 1 here 1 into dz is dz so we have separate x, y, z components here. The corresponding limiting values are also available. So next is the path. We have to establish the given path for this energy calculation. So what the problem says, let us get back to the problem. These two equations define the path. So, For the given path, so in every problem of work done, a path will be defined by some equations. We have to use these two relations into the equation of energy. So wherever y is there, let us put 3x plus 2 and wherever z is there let us put x plus 2 so finally y is replaced by x term 
and that is also replaced by x. So finally, we will be having end of the day only x component. So this y equals 3x plus 2 will be fine. But once y is removed, we should remove dy also. So differentiate this equation y equal to 3x plus 2. We will get differentiation of y is dy. 3 constant differentiation of x is dx. 2 constant differentiation of 2 is 0. So now y and dy can be removed. So finally, same thing happens to z also. To differentiate z, it is dz. x becomes dx. Differentiation of 4 is 0. So using these four relations in the expected equation, so we can introduce the path. So what I say is w is equal to minus 6 integral of in this equation wherever y and z are present we shall use the given relations so that the corresponding relation is established. So here minus 8 x let it be there we shall substitute for y. So y is 3x plus 2 into dx minus 4 x square let it be there. So in place of dy here we shall write 3 into dx plus. So here is dz. So that becomes now dx. So you can observe that all the terms are in, in the form in, as a function of x only. So what I suggest is now that you try to simplify this equation as much as possible so that we'll end up with a simple relation for integration. So expand this one here. So what happens here is minus 24x square minus 16x dx, dx, dx. I will take dx as a common factor. So now we are left with the here. So 4 to be multi multiplied with 3, 12x square plus 1 into dx. This is what I got. Further simplification can also be carried out if possible minus 6. So here it is 12x square 24x square both are minus then add them. So it becomes minus 36x square. Next one here is minus 16x plus 1 into dx. So the complete integration is with dx. So we can apply the limits only for x. So let us go to the given problem and find out what are the x components in each point. So according to this equation, here if you see x the initial point is 1, in the final point it is 2. So the limits are 1 to 2. So the limits are now 1 to, from 1 to 2. So the work done becomes now minus 6. Integrate minus 36. This becomes x cube by 3. Minus 16 integration of x is x square by 2 plus x limits are 1 to 2. That is the equation we got. Next, let us go with the limits. Upper limit 2 cube by 3, lower limit uh, 1 cube by 3. Minus 16, 
2 square by 2 with upper limit, 1 square by 2 with the lower limit. Here it is 2 minus 1. So, you can use calculator to find the final answer. It will be 642 joules. This is the work done in moving the charge 6 coulomb from given point to the final point.